I'm Jason. I'm Todd. This is our little child, Ziggy. Say hello, Ziggy. Hi, Ziggy. And we're the Vamping Guys. Hey everybody, so we're at the RV dealership and we are checking out some ricks today and kicking some tires. That's right, we are doing some tiny house window shopping today, so we <laughs> thought it would be fun to bring you along for the adventure. Let's get started, let's go look at some RVs right now. Woohoo! Okay, and this is a 2018 33 foot Airstream. and it has a backup camera. Wow, your streams definitely are beautiful. a nice big shower. That extra three feet I can see makes a big difference being able to uh, make the back bathroom much larger. It's got a very large wardrobe as well. It's actually got a separate desk area. This would be great for uh, Todd to put his keyboard on. Beautiful large sink. Okay, so now we're walking into a flying cloud. And we like the flying cloud because it has uh, additional storage on each side of the bed. This model, unfortunately, has the bunk beds, but it's the color scheme that we really love. It's very bright, very open, very airy. There's Todd down by in the kitchen. Oh, I was just taking a nap. Oh, I hate this <laughs> yeah, I dig it. I particularly like this, uh, kind of like the dark countertop with like the light wood. Mm -hmm. It's really, really smart. Yeah, it is. So now we have journeyed across the street to the fifth wheel lot. So we're going to take a look at some fifth wheels. Let's check them out. So this is the Columbus Compass. Oh, this, this is, is nice. One of my favorite fifth wheels. I love this long bar. Oh yeah. I love the theater seating, the nice little entertainment area. I just was, wish it wasn't so dark in here. Yeah. What about those airstreams? They have lots of light. We do appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, this has a residential fridge. Yes, that is a big plus. Coming up into the bathroom. This is nice. Oh this yeah. Closet area. I like the mirrors on the, the doors. It gives it more spacious kind of feel. Oh yeah, this is really nice. Mm-hmm. The bathroom. Oh, it has a little pedestal sink. That's nice. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, 
last time I was here, the guy showed me one of their like really fancy Jayco's. Well, I think uh, the one I remembered that we looked at last year was the Jayco, I think it was the Pinnacle. Yes. And that had uh, the front living room. And we really liked that layout. And then last year when we were at Lazy Days, we really liked the open range. Mm -hmm. Oh, and speak of the devil. <laughs> right here's the Jayco Pinnacle. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. Okay. I wish they'd run the AC in some of these. Yeah, I know. It would be nice if they had a few of them like plugged in. So you could get like the full effect, you know, with electricity and air conditioning. Because uh, these things sitting out in the hot sun in a parking lot, it's like walking into a friggin' oven. But we're that's okay. We're, we're, we'll pretend we're having a spa day, and this is yeah. the sauna part of the Wow. This is oh, my God. And it actually has a lot of windows. Which... That could, like, double as, like, a desk for you to put your keyboard. Mm-hmm. Right here. This would make a great keyboard. Okay, what is that? That's oh, that's the wind blowing on the door. <laughs> that was kind of creepy. <laughs> that was. Okay, we can't buy this RV. It's haunted. Run. Wow, that backsplash is really pretty too. Heck yeah, and I love this island. Oh, the island's fabulous. This is, a this is really, really nice and roomy. Oh, what? I was saying this is the front bathroom model. This is uh, one of the newer models, I believe. Ooh. It's got like a, like okay. a suite. In the well, let's go bathroom. check it out. It's nice. Okay, so here's the bedroom. Yeah, that double vanity, that's uh... That's rare. You don't see that a lot in fifth wheels. That's amazing, look at that. All right, so this is the Jayco Pinnacle. All right, so here's another Jayco Pinnacle. Todd's already inside. And I'm very excited to see this layout because this is kind of the layout that we both seem to uh, like the most with our lifestyle, and that is the front living room. Oh, this is really pretty. Again, though, I'm just not a fan of all the dark. I know. You know, uh, the lighter colors for us really open up the space. Yeah. That is a huge TV. It sure is. Wow, this is beautiful, though. Yeah, I mean, this is... <laughs> this I mean, is you literally have a whole front living room. Yeah two full-size couches just to kind of lay seat. back on and <laughs> theater seating look at that this is better like viewing and sitting space than we have in our house yeah yeah this is a nice kitchen too Great i actually couch. like how the kitchen is uh in this one the kitchen's separate mm -hmm. whereas the other uh, fifth wheels we've looked at the kitchen is more of an open kitchen into mm -hmm. the uh, living area exactly we do like the separation of space and yeah front living and yeah. also um you know, and the nice uh, feature about it being separate is you get this beautiful, like, hutch area, or uh, buffet area, I suppose is actually what it's called. But there's just great extra room for entertaining, for cooking. It still has a beautiful island, which uh, we really enjoy. And of course, the residential fridge. Yeah, this is really nice. And uh, right over there, I'm guessing that's the pantry. Yes, it is, and it's nice. Okay, nice cool. Oh, and here's the price on this one. It's on sale for 72 grand. Another thing that I've noticed uh, with the newer designs, they seem to be going more for the pedestal sink option. And I really like that because it frees up a lot more floor space. But this has a lot of storage. There's even a cabinet way up top. I don't even think I could reach up that high. <laughs> <laughs> nice big bathroom. And it looks like it's one entire piece of fiberglass with no seams. So that's good. Won't have to worry about leaks. Oh wow, there's a separate entrance into the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. 
And I like that they have little shelves on each side of the bed so you can like put your phones, you know, a glass of water or a cocktail. Exactly. And just kind of chill out and enjoy some AC. Speaking Watch which, some TV. I am yeah, it's it's hot. Nice big open closet too. This is nice. You know, and this is one thing I haven't seen yet. This has like a lot of way up high storage. Did you notice that, Todd? Like, look at that. Look at all this extra storage up top. It's really deep too. I don't think Todd hears me. Oh, that's why Todd doesn't hear me because the door's closed. <laughs> Very nice. So this is the Pinnacle by Jayco, the front living room. Hey everybody, this seems to be a rear den model, which we really like this floor plan. So. And this is, uh, I'm sorry, and this is the North, North. Point uh, by Jayco. Yeah, the rear den models uh, we enjoy too because you get a lot more space. I'll just come around real quick and show you. But with the rear den models, they're able to raise up that area so you get a lot more cargo space in the back. And we really like that too. Wow, this is nice too. Mm -hmm. And every fifth wheel we have been in so far today, they all have had a residential fridge. Yeah. So I wonder if that's kind of becoming more of the standard as well now. You know, I love this rear den model. It's basically just like the front living room, but they do it in the back mm -hmm. instead of the front. One thing that's really cool about the rear living room is you get a nice big picture window right there. Yeah. Here, which is cool. And I love how uh, this whole area here, they have the TV uh, tucked behind uh, the cabinet so it just raises up when you want to watch. And this would, uh, again, be a great place to put your keyboard and do all your music work, you know, right up here. Good looking RV. It is. And again, I like how uh, it separates the kitchen. Kind of having uh, your different spaces. Not saying that we uh, don't like the uh, open space too of uh, the kitchen going into the living room. You know, that's uh, a nice layout as well. Yeah. But it seems to me with uh, the separate spaces, uh, you get uh, kind of more counter space. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's just more versatility. All right, let's check out the bedroom. Do that. I'm gonna step outside. Okay. I'm melting. Yeah, I am too. I think this might be our last one. It's just so hot. You know, we're not complaining. I mean, we live in Florida because we prefer the hot over the cold. But when you're inside a fifth wheel with no air conditioning, I'm sure you guys know it's like a friggin' oven. Oh, this is a pretty bedroom. It's got like the faux leather headboard. I hope it's faux leather anyway. We're also trying as vegetarians to make more conscious choices when we uh, actually buy things as well. I just bought a new pair of shoes, actually right here, and they are animal free. They are actually vegan shoes. So uh, we're trying to, uh, going forward, also just make more conscious shopping choices. All right, this looks like this might be the most glamptastic of them all. The Designer Series by Jenko. Let's check this one out. Tops, that is pretty wow. Great you know, I gotta tell you, I'm not a fan of uh, the dark wood, but in the case of this one, yeah. it actually is really nice because uh, it adds a lot of contrast yeah. to the white. Mm -hmm. The ladder couch is uh -huh. nice. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, overall, I definitely like the woodwork better than the it's other It's a Jacobs. beautiful backsplash there as well. You know, a nice thing too, this has like a double kitchen sink. This is the Jayco Designer Series. 
I love this open buffet area. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a bar. I know. And did you see this yet? You know, this is really nice. The other ones we looked at, they had it going pretty much all the way up to the ceiling, whereas this one uh, keeps mm -hmm. the uh, living room area much more open. And I love this sliding glass door right here in the middle. Yes. It's a pillar and it's got a Look at that, all that space. It's got a, a TV that raises up and down. And I love, they utilize every inch of this fifth wheel for space. I have recliner seating. Mm -hmm. All its storage. Yeah, it's really pretty. Wow, there's even a, a beautiful little, like what would you call that? Kind of a hutch, I guess? Yeah. I mean, this, this, there's so much room. But you notice stuff. that there's a place you can put like your nice dinnerware. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is yeah, pretty. Even right above the fridge, there's like space. Yep. They've yeah. really filled every nook and cranny with uh, storage mm -hmm. in this one. Oh, wow. It's got one of those uh, kind of pivot doors mm -hmm. for the bathroom. <laughs> what I kind of find funny with this one, it's uh, much more very big and open and airy, mm -hmm. but the bathroom is kind of tiny. Uh, but I mean, it's nice, yeah. but it's just kind of a small bathroom. All right, and this just seems like uh, the other bedrooms. It's got a nice uh, back wardrobe area. Oh, and then this one also has a... Uh, TV that uh, lifts up from uh, underneath the uh, the cabinet. All right, very nice. Oh, and then this one is a hundred thousand dollars. Well, everybody, we've had a great time kicking some tires and checking out all sorts of different kinds of RVs. We've got so much to think about now, so many ideas and so much inspiration. So we think we might as well sit down, have a nice late lunch at a wonderful vegan restaurant called Ethos, and start thinking about, hmm, where our life might lead us, and into which kind of RV we might be led. We just got our food. I got the hippie wrap, which looks really good. It's like homemade hummus and all kinds of yummy vegetables. And then I also got the vegan mashed potatoes and gravy. And we got a side salad to share with seitan. Seitan. <laughs> I got the eggplant, which is uh, sort of like a cutlet. It looks really good with mashed potatoes and gravy and grilled asparagus. Mm -hmm. Very excited. All right, so since this is our first time eating at Ethos Vegan Kitchen, we are doing it upright and also getting some dessert. So we have a vegan snickerdoodle on the left, and we have a vegan lemon cake on the right. 
Yum, yum, yum. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you.